today's episode, we will learn that menstruation is a natural process of eliminating blood, uterine tissue, and unfertilized egg from the uterus through the vagina. And there are four phases of menstrual cycle. Menstrual phase, follicular phase, ovulation, and the luteal phase. Hi there learners! This is Teacher Love and Teacher Clarissa. Together, get ready to discover the good, the bad, and the incredible things through science. Welcome to SciHub, where learning science makes sense. Males and females have unique reproductive parts and function to perform reproduction. Let's check if you can still remember them. Write MR if the given word is a part of a male reproductive system or FR if it is part of a female reproductive system. Number 1. Urethra Number 2. Fallopian tube Number 3. Uterus. Number four, vas deferens. And number five, ovary. Let's check your answer. Number one, urethra, MR and FR. It is both located in male and female reproductive system. Number two, fallopian tube, FR. Number three, uterus, FR. Number four, vas deferens, MR. And number five, ovary, FR. This might sound crazy, but right now there are over 300 million females across the world that are experiencing the same thing. It is called menstruation or commonly known as a period. Let's explore the science behind menstruation. But before we begin, let's take time to understand these new words for our Scitionary. Cycle, a series of events that are regularly repeated in the same order. Phase, a distinct period or stage in a series of events or process of change or development. Menarche, the first occurrence of menstruation. All right, we just added three new words to our Scitionary. Menstruation means the natural process of eliminating blood, uterine tissue, and unfertilized egg from the uterus through the vagina. It is a natural and normal process that all girls will experience. Menstruation can last about 3 to 7 days, and the cycle usually takes about 28 to 30 days. Day 1 of menstruation is the first day of the period, as the uterus starts to shed its lining. As the period ends, the uterus prepares again to receive another fertilized egg. Once a month, a mature egg is released in one of the ovaries of a female. Each time an egg matures, the wall of the uterus thickens and develops a mucus lining. This prepares the uterus for the coming of the egg to be fertilized. 
if the ripened egg is not fertilized because of the absence of the sperm, the egg dies. The wall of the uterus that has thickened breaks down and passes out in the form of blood or the menstrual flow. This explains why women menstruate per month. Generally, the menstrual cycle has four major phases. These are menstrual phase, follicular phase, ovulation, and luteal phase. To learn more about these phases, let us study the diagram of the menstrual cycle. Day 1 to 5 is the menstrual phase. In this phase, the thick lining of the uterus will shed off and will be eliminated from the body as menstrual blood. Remember, the first day of menstruation is the first day of the menstrual cycle. Day 6 to 10 is the follicular phase. It is the repair period for the uterine lining and the development period for an egg to mature. Day 11 to 18 is the ovulation phase. Ovulation occurs when an egg is released by the ovary. The egg cells travels along the fallopian tube for about 3 to 4 days and waits for a sperm cell. In this stage, fertilization may take place, thus pregnancy is possible. Day 19 to 28 is the luteal phase. During this period, the uterus prepares for possible fertilization and implantation by making the uterine lining grow and thicken. In this stage, hormones act on the uterus for the preparation for fertilization or pregnancy. If an egg is not fertilized, the uterus comes off its lining in the form of blood. This is typically called monthly period. Girls can count the days in their cycle to help them know when to expect their next period. This is useful so that they can prepare some pads in their bag. When females reach a certain age between 45 to 55 years old, some may lose their ability to have children. This period is called menopause. During this period, women stop producing egg cells. And since the egg cells are primary factor in childbearing, women can no longer bear children between this period. Up next, we now know that fertilization is the union of sperm and egg cell. But have you ever wondered how do fertilization takes place? Stay tuned for more as we will continue to explore the science behind menstrual cycle. Once again, this is Teacher Love and Teacher Clarissa. And if you want to keep learning with us, be sure to subscribe on Depend TV official Facebook and YouTube account. Thank you for watching. Join us again next time for another meaningful Sci-Hub experience. Only here on Depend TV, where learning science makes sense.